Welcome to Great Day Live, everybody. Jam-packed show, right? So much happening today, but we are going to jump into something that I've heard a lot of people talking about recently. You know, concerns over identity theft. It continues to grow. We're getting a lot of news every day, right, of news of data breaches at major companies and financial institutions. Unfortunately, you have little control over when a company uh, is hacked, right, and what information goes out there to the world, but you do have control over your own actions. That's why Mark Lampkin is here from Lampkin Wealth Management to uh, tell us about ways to protect ourselves and what to leave at home. Mark, seriously, it's like the past couple of days, I've had more emails from people saying, okay, my Facebook account was hacked, my Twitter account was hacked, yes. I got an email from my bank, and is this really my bank, right? Like, there has just, this there's is serious. Like, I feel like there's just been a lot of activity recently. A lot. Is it just me? 50 billion dollars a year oh my gosh three as uh, four percent of all Americans each year get their identity stolen and three out of ten have it done twice and it's Twi the, on average about too, 30 right? yes Jennifer and I we <laughs> got breached and we they filed taxes on us so I got LifeLock and it works. Yes, they filed taxes on Jennifer and I. So even as much as I protect, we get out. Right, but right. There are some things that we it can, can do. It can happen to anybody. Yes, right. And that's it the happens point. like so yes. much. So there are like some key things that you've isolated yes. that you definitely need to leave home. And just looking over this list, I realize I'm not doing so good. <laughs> I'm not. Well, I'm going to try to trick you first because this wasn't on the list. Okay. Number one thing you should not keep in your car glove box. Um, car insurance papers. Close. Am I close? You're close. Car title. Oh, so many people yes. keep the car title and somebody forges that gone, moves out of state, that car is gone forever and you don't even have proof except for your registration. Well, I think you think That's if I probably get... in your car glove box. <laughs> Well, I think if I get pulled over or something, if I'm speeding, you don't I, need wanna, your car title. I don't need my car title, no. but you got to get, it's just automatically think, does I believe it in the car? Uh, second thing is like, oh look, when I was growing up 16, 17 years old, a long time ago, mm -hmm. I know, but I didn't think twice of keeping my social security card yeah. in my wallet, right? When's the last time you've actually used your social security card? Like never. And if you have that social security card and go into a bank, it's like handing the mm -hmm. thieves the keys to the kingdom. Where should they you can keep it in the house? I mean, just like a safe deposit, like Get a, a safe. safe Everybody or needs yeah. a little safe. And yeah. for me, I have built my little pistol, have it in my safe, yeah, yeah. and I have all the important things in there. But you, you know, you think about USB drives that have maybe passports or important documents. Um, you you literally. It's spare keys in your purse that you have. Just think about that. If you if you lock if you have your keys or lost your purse, they've got access to that. So passports. Keep your business card second or mm. outside in a separate See, that thing. That is one that shocked me. Is yes. that you really should keep your business cards like someplace else? Yeah. Do you want a thief knowing where you work too? No. Because once they have and all that information, there too. now they've got your car title, your social security <laughs> card. They've got where you work, your USB drive. We're going to Cabo. Um, <laughs> also, like multiple credit cards. Really, that makes you like force down to one ID one ID and one credit card one credit card if you're going to use another credit card you can carry it that day otherwise keep them at home don't what, have it what about uh, I get a lot of gift cards uh, for right. holidays and like birthdays and things like that I sometimes just keep them in my wallet because I'm like if I'm out I no, that's it's another extra cash most of the time, only about 70% of gift cards are used. Uh -huh. So make sure you keep them at home somewhere where you know they're there because mm -hmm. a lot of people lose them and they're not replaceable. Right. So if, when you're using them, get them out of that little safe or where you keep your stuff at home and take them and use them that day yeah. because more people, well, not more people than not, but 30%, they're a boom for the restaurant business. Oh, yeah. 30% of barrel holes, they're free money. They don't use them. <laughs> Nobody uses them. <laughs> need to go find them. Uh, what about receipts? Like, we have lots of receipts from shopping, and we just, like, keep them in our, our purse or our glove compartment. Right. And if they're credit card receipts, don't keep those. You okay. don't want to give any credit card information, any credit card numbers, any checking account receipts, any of that kind of stuff. Can you get information off receipts? You can. Maybe? And you here's the thing. On the dark web mm -hmm. is a big deal now because yeah. mine and Jennifer's information is on the dark web now because once you're on there, three out of ten people have a second case mm -hmm. of identity theft. So you just got to be careful what's where. And I, I can't brag enough on LifeLock. When yeah. um, my old company breached tens of thousands of data, my old company, my, yeah. my new company. And that's how they got Jennifer's and I, I think. And uh -huh. LifeLock, we got two years free. I kept it going. They text me alerts to my phone, and I've caught two different people trying to get credit cards. So, And here's one big thing. Yeah. I didn't realize this. This is huge, huge. Children under the age of 18, they don't get credit cards. You don't know mm -mm. if people are doing this. So think about that. If they Luckily get your child's their information number, yep. for 18 years, they mm -hmm. can burn that up and you never know. So if you have a life lock as a family, uh -huh. you're going to know if someone has your children's information as yes. well. So 
Good in information. Today's market, I don't Simple care if things. it's LifeLock. I'm not a paid spokesman yeah. in any way. I don't care if it's LifeLock, whoever it is, but some type of identity theft program in today's world, it's a must. Great tips there, Mark. Thank you so much. So if you're interested in getting more information or scheduling your first visit with Mark Lampkin, head on over to LampkinWealth.com or give him a call at 690-6764. I learn something every time, Mark. Thank you so every much. Every single time. Yeah, that's right. I'm like,